Just uh, talk about the effort you guys gave. You obviously instilled in them, that despite the two double-digit losses during the regular season, that they could they could win this ball game. Yeah, you know, talking to our guys a ton, just about believing in themselves and believing in the group that we have. And obviously, a disappointing result. You're frustrated with that you're on this end of it, but couldn't be happier and more proud of our guys for what they did and for where we are. You know, a week and a half ago, two weeks ago, wondering if we're getting in and not knowing. You know, and that's what I just told the guys that you got to make sure that you you're not going to realize now, but in the end. A uh, heck of a team is on hand for that. Just, they just go after the just relentless attack in so many different ways, and we just didn't get enough bounces and breaks our way, you know, which it happens in a tight game. Um, very important to be on that end of it. But our, our kids, they left it out on the floor. That's the one thing you want as a coach and in sports is to leave everything you have on the floor. We certainly did that. Just scrap and claw right to the tail end of the, as the buzzer sounded. How important was it to get off to a fast start? Kind of hit the first several points. I think for you, you guys shot out fast, and we we're talking. You probably led it at eighty to eighty-five yeah. percent of this game. <laughs> Make that one sting a little more, but no, you know, I, th I mean, certainly after the first two games, to get out, get off to a good start, make a couple jump shots, gets the kids are comfortable, puts us in a little more rhythm, and uh, we we talked a ton all week, just preparing against their pressure and seeing the ball go in, allowed us to be just put us at ease against their pressure. It got us going, and we were able to ride that for, as you said, about 80 percent of the game. You know, but um, still, you got at the end of the game, there's just a couple of breaks, bounces just didn't go our way. But fortunately, that's what happens at this point of the season against know. all good teams. Excuse me, I don't know if you even realize it, but you were up 58-54, and they closed 17-1. They did. To one. They did. Just run out of gas, or how do you explain? You it? know, we got. I mean, some of the breaks where we did a great job contesting. I think it was Phil Tripodakis from the perimeter. Two seconds left on on the shot clock. Ball falls into Devin Gilligan's hand, puts it up to, to go, and then they stuck a three on the next possession. And then we got the five second call out by half court um, that, you know, just quickly as it turned with that. Um, talked about it. we had one timeout left at a minute 57 on the clock when that happened. I thought I thought we were going to be able to get by it and then use that timeout later as we scored to call something up, set something up that way. But it's just uh, they can score in spurts and certainly. As they did, then. they're a really explosive, high-powered offensive team, and just uh, very, very tough to stop. Is this a deal with they, they did beat you three times, and you just go home and you say, "Hey, they were the better team this year." Is it? Are, are, do you have sleepless moments after this? I mean, there's certainly going to be sleepless moments with them. Um, they're, they're they're a heck of a team, and I'd still go to bat with our group, with our guys, on any given day, you know, on, on any night, and we certainly left absolutely everything out there today. And the biggest thing I. I this is going to propel us and help us next year. With we only lose Jack Cole, our, our senior captain, and everybody else is back. And a trip like this is going to def definitely help us next year. The experience that the guys got and what they learned and the growth that they made. I just could, couldn't be happier and more excited to turn the page over and just get back to work tomorrow. You led me into my next question, exactly. what's going to be. <laughs> you only lose one guy. We do. First of all, talk about that one guy. What has Jack meant to the program? Um, it's hard to say. You know. Um, where he came in as a skinny, soft-spoken freshman to what he did now as, uh, as our leader and as our captain for a kid that is one of the most unselfish players I've ever coached. For as talented as he is, we, we want him to score. He's so capable, but he's just such a team-oriented guy. He, there's moments where we have to get on him just to look at the basket and score, because when he does, he's that good. And it's, it's just a, a credit to him and you know, to the type of person the player it's going to be sad to see him go, but where he's left this program, uh, it's right back uh, at the top, a uh, elite level in the league, in the country. And the guys certainly learned a lot from him and are going to grow and get better as a result of what Jack did about them. You alluded to it. Your mind's probably not there yet, but talk about the future and having, I think you've got six juniors. Six juniors. So this will be a senior, you know, a heavy senior club. Pretty heavy senior class. Yeah, and the but future's bright. How excited are you just to lose one kid? That's unusual to have a, a tournament team that has only one senior. Right, and I, th I mean, not a lot of people thought we'd be here. You know, uh, pick seven in the preseason rankings, pick seven in in this, and uh, led for 80 percent of this game right down the stretch. And we've got everyone back, so it's certainly exciting. Uh, the one thing that we do, and we treat every single game, every practice as a team. And we just can't get complacent, can't settle in, and just expect that we're going to be back. It's going to take a heck of a lot of work, and we're going to get right back at it and try to get better and just continue to improve and try to go on that incline.
of where we've been this entire season. So well, I'm, I'm looking forward to, to having this group back and really excited of, of the type of kids that we got, the competitors, and just the quality of, of people in our program right now. Can't wait for next year to, to come back. And obviously, even though you're going back to Easton with a loss, this is a positive experience. It's certainly, I mean, it's, it's tough. And trying to explain to the guys how much it stings in this moment. But when you look back in the next couple of days, couple of weeks, however long it takes to, for that moment to, to flip over, and they're certainly going to be proud of what they did. And I know they got, the guys got all their families, parents, friends. We got a ton of alumni that were here today that are just overly excited and proud of our group and where we're at. So it's going to sting for a while, but I hope that they, the guys use it as motivation for next year when we come back. So the plan is we're not leaving this event next year. Appreciate it.